What's up, everybody? Scarf Trump Gaming here, and today we are back with the ranked singles battles. I believe the ladder just reset, so we've got a fun little team to try out here that uh, I saw on ranked singles subreddit. So our battle stadium singles subreddit. So we're gonna we kind of put put it together and kind of give it a my own little piece. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try it out on the ladder and see how we can do. Uh, there's the rental code there below. Guys, we hit 500 subs. Thank you so much. What an awesome accomplishment. Thank you for everything you've done to help me get there and uh, get there along the way and all the support. Um, we are doing a Nuzlocke of Emerald Kaizo, the hardest uh, Pokemon game ever, kind of. Um, I'm sure the, some people will debate on that, but it's pretty tough. Um, but yeah, so tune into the streams. Uh, they've been going well. They've been fun. Um, love your guys' input. Love uh, naming Pokemon with you guys and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely follow me on Twitter, Twitch, uh, YouTube. Hit the sub if you haven't already. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll keep the content coming. But for today, we've got ranked single battles. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more uh, Nuzlocke highlights for you. And then uh, maybe we'll do that uh, 500 sub video. I gotta get to that. So we got some stuff coming, so stick around and stay tuned. For now, let's hop into those ranked single battles. All right, we got a battle against Lewis. I think we can go Skarm, Lantern. And I want to say Calyrex. Let's do it. I also could probably lead Calyrex. Probably not a bad idea, but it depends what they lead, right? I'd say that Darmanitan's a little troublesome. I'm thinking they're going to bring Regieleki. And if they do, we'll swap into Lantern. If they leave Darmanitan, I won't be super happy. Alright, and they just go for Cinderace. Right off the gate. So our best play for that... To probably go lantern. There's the pyro ball. That does a lot, even though we resist. So their best move is to uh, hit the high jump kick here. So hopefully we can predict that correctly. And even if they sucker punch, it won't affect us. Goes for the high jump kick. We read it perfectly. Then go for substitute here. There's the sucker punch. We read through that pretty well too. I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp, since it's dark type. They may even swap out. I think we're doing good. There's the Sucker Punch again. Ah, Cinderace avoids. Why is it saying Psy Shock is super effective? It's just not correct. 
Alright, we'll go for the Astral Barrage here. They may swap out. Nope. Now they want to attack. And so we outplay the Cinderace with some head games. And we're still behind a sub. And we get a special attack boost. Good day to be a Calyrex. We do lose a little bit of HP, but that's fine. We won't talk about that. Ah, good call, champ. It was still fighting types and Sucker Punch didn't work. Good call. Okay. Uh, we don't want a Dynamax here because we would lose our sub. So we're going to go straight up for the Astral Barrage here. And our opponent cancels the battle. So we outplay that Cinderace. And they just cancel. Alright, super fun Kyogre team. I love that. I don't know if I should lead with Skarmory or Lantern or Nihiligo. Honestly, I hate this team from our opponent. They just basically were like, what are the most overpowered Pokemon? Let me grab all of them and we'll just go from there. And that's pretty much what they did. Let's go Lantern. I want to go Nihiligo, but Calyrex is too good. No Skarm. Alright, this guy's got three exclamation points in his name, so look out. So they lead with what I was kind of afraid of. I think I'm going to go into Calyrex here. And the reason I want to go into Calyrex is because I think they're going to go for the Fighting Fight move. Even though Skarmory is neutral on that, and we have the Brave Bird, and we have the Rocky Helmet. Actually, Skarmory is the right play, because we can break the Sash. They go for U-turn, which is perfect. Not very effective. And we break the Sash, so way better play. My guess here would be Kyogre. That would be my gut check. Ooh, Ferrothorn. Bring it on, Ferrothorn. Guess I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed here. Stealth Rock, even better. Um, real question is if I get greedy or not, go for another one or see how much Body Press does. I'm going to go for the Body Press because they might swap into uh, Kyogre. They did not. Let's see how much this does. Uh, good damage, even with the Iron Barbs, Rocky Helmet potential. There's the Leech Seed. They're probably going to protect this turn, so I will go for another Iron Defense. No guarantee that they have it, but that will ensure KO. So let's go for the Iron Defense here. There's the Protect. Read him like an open book. Just better, Champ says. I don't know about that. And part of me wants to roost here. 
If they get the, uh... Second protect off, that would suck. Alright, luckily it fails. Goodbye. Ferrothorn, that was the biggest threat to our existence. It does have the iron barbs at this point, I don't care. I'm expecting Kyogre. The Stealth Rock sucks, I'll admit. We're not 100% out of the woods yet, but we're sitting pretty decent. There's the Kyogre. So the question here is, do I switch into my Lantern who can, uh, who has Volt Absorb? Do I think it's, I think Skarmory at this point is done. We don't need Skarmory to beat pretty much anything. I'm going to go for the Body Press. I, I, I know we are not faster. I know everything. So it did go for Thunder. Um, and that's fine. So we could have swapped in and saved Skarmory, but at this point... I don't know if that is a uh, need. And we don't need to do anything there. Um, we are going to take some rock damage, but they're locked into Thunder. We could Eerie Impulse, but if they decide to swap, that would be worthless. I think we just go for Max Lightning here. Alright, they're gonna Dynamax. We're gonna Dynamax. Um, we are faster than Kyogre in this form. Sorry, what am I saying? I, I don't know why I said we're faster. I'm, uh, what's his face is uh, Calyrex. Yeah, sorry, champ. Champ watching the stream, questioning what I was saying, and honestly, you should. You should 100% question that. Goes for the max lightning anyway, that's an awful play. Thank you, Lantern. That should pretty much seal the deal. Although we don't do much. Lantern's not very strong, guys. Lantern is not very strong. We could change it to hail, just to be annoying. Max Geyser should do very little damage, and we should pick up this win. Oh yeah, minimal damage. We do have Eerie Impulse too. We could get really greedy. And we do have Leftovers. And there's no no reason for us to not just keep Max Lightning. Well, I guess this technically... Who's faster is... Feramosa actually might be faster. Maybe we did need Skarmory. Maybe we're not 100% out of the woods. Now I'm thinking we can still possibly lose this. Now I gotta look. Who is faster? Bug. Fermosa. 
151 base speed. That is insane. Psychic. Caloric Rider, 150. It's one speed point faster. So it's not gonna matter if we stick if we swap or not. Oop. This goes for U-turn. Which unfortunately was enough to KO. Luckily, I think we resist the U-turn as the ghost. So as long as the South Rock damage. This isn't enough. I guess it's technically not locked in. I guess we don't know what move it's going to use here. We're somewhat bulky. With a lot of HP. We do lose an eighth of our health. Um, Psy Shock is super effective, so we will go with that. We just got to hope we don't get KO'd here. Has the U-turn we should resist. Oh no, it's neutral. We survive. I forget, we're psychic. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. GG's. I completely forgot that that was neutral because we're psychic. I always forget about the psychic. I always forget about the secondary psychic. Every time, guys. Every time. All right, but we pick up the win. We outplay Kyogre. Bulky Pharaoh. There's no such thing as a bulky Pharaoh. champ. Honestly, I like Lantern lead. Skarmory, and then Calyrex. That's going to be the lead, guys. Alright, and here we go. I think this is a winnable match. Alright, and our opponent leads with Lant or with our Shifu lead with Lantern. Um a discharge is super effective. Let's uh let's hit that once, see what happens. Goes for the close combat. And that KOs. I did not think that would KO. I guess we could have swapped into uh, Calyrex. I thought we were bulkier than that. Turns out we're not. Um, let's take a look at their team here. Nothing really wants to take this Psy Shock. Alright, and they withdraw our Shifu. This is probably Zacian. Okay. We should be good here. Alright, not very effective. Lose a little bit of HP. It doesn't get Sucker Punch, does it? Alright, we'll go for the Astral Barrage. Goodbye, Zacian. Hello, special attack. And the water Urshifu is not a good matchup for our opponent here. Not as good as the dark fighting one would have been. Uh, I think we have a pretty good chance to pick up this uh, win here, guys. It will depend on what this thing is. Honestly, at this point, I'm ready to Dynamax. Alright, so if they're not Dynamaxing, we're going first. If they do, though, we'll have to see. No choice scarf, no nothing. So Tapu Lili going down. And we get the Grim Nay, which is perfect. All 
Alright, and here comes Urshifu. Got the Max Mindstorm, which is super effective. It's probably uh, Focus Sashed. Fighting type will not affect us. The water move probably won't KO. Um, us being plus two, there's pretty much no way we're not KOing. All right, here comes the Max Mindstorm from Calyrex. And we just take out the Urshifu. So we get a 3-0 sweep with Calyrex Shadow Rider. Gotta love it. I usually don't run Life Orb on Calyrex, to be honest, guys. Um, but I have enjoyed it lately. Um, usually it's Focus Sash. Okay, we got an opposing trainer who is using Rayquaza as their restricted. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that or what to do about that. What are we, how are we gonna play around that? Okay, hear me out. Lantern lead, Skarmory. And then Calyrex. Um, so I want to lead Lantern because he has Ice type. I really have no idea what uh, Rayquaza is going to do, to tell you the truth. I wish we had Protect. Oh, Lantern, but Eerie Impulse is so good, right? Alright, so it's Nihiligo who is special oriented, so honestly, I'm gonna go. Do we go for the Eerie Impulse or the Icy Wind? I think I like the Icy Wind. Goes for a Sludge Wave. I mean, it should do some good damage, but yeah. We absorb that. And there's the Speed Drop. Uh, maybe the Eerie Impulse would have been the right play. We'll go for that now. Yeah, because they're just going to hit another Sludge Wave. There's the minus two special attack. Yeah, definitely should have gone for this first time. We have a little bit more HP. A little bit of a misplay, but I don't think it's going to matter in the long run. I think they're going to swap out now. Which will be a great time to hit an Icy Wind. Part of me is thinking they're, they're uh, locked in. But I don't know if I'm willing to test that. I think they might be Choice Scarfed. And here comes another Icy Wind from Lantern. We have dropped its speed three times. Now the question here, is it worth switching to Calyrex? Because I know we're faster, we can get a substitute set up. It's been Eerie Impulsed. As long as we don't get poisoned. Okay, so it was not uh, scarfed. Oh, we eat that up. That's nice. All right, I'm going to go for the substitute here. 
They stay in. I don't think they can break a sub. Oh, Drago Meteor might. I'll sub again. I will definitely sub again. Because there's no way they're breaking through one now and they're either going to have to swap out. There's a Draco Meteor. I don't think this is going to KO the sub. There we go. Perfect. Alright guys, we are in good position. Two. Let's look at their team here. If they brought Moltres, we're in trouble. If not, we're fine. Let's go for the Astral Barrage. Just in case you want to get fancy. Nope, they stay in. Alright, we get the special attack boost. Calyrex behind a sub, kind of broken. We might have to Dynamax just to make sure we don't life orb. Damage ourselves. I don't think they have anything with Infiltrator. I didn't, I guess I didn't look. But now we are plus one, which is wonderful. In comes Cinderace, who is possibly. Uh, Okay, so part of me wants to Dynamax Max Mindstorm. But if they go for the... Uh, here's something we can do. We can scout and a sub with Will-O-Wisp. Oh, that was dumb. 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 Because they're going to be... Well, no. If they go for Sucker Punch. Okay, let's change them to Dark. We'll scout here. Okay, so they did not go for Sucker Punch. Whatever, we'll just go for an Astral Barrage. I imagine they're... Focus Sash to them. Doesn't appear that they have uh, Sucker Punch. Probably Scarfed. No Scarf... Er, not Scarfed. Um, Focus Sashed. Man, we're all over the place. Alright, we're now plus two. We, we misplayed, but not that bad. I mean, we came out of it. It was a bad misplay, but we came out of it. Don't make my mistakes, guys. Alright, here comes Rayquaza, whom we should be faster than. Yeah, we're definitely faster than it. The question is, do we just... I mean, yeah, let's just Astral Barrage. At this point, I don't think it's worth wasting a Dynamax. They're going to Dynamax, and they should. But I think our Dynamax is better spent on Skarmory. And since they Dynamaxed, they lost all uh, Choice Scarf. Possibility. They're probably power of though, possibly. So we're plus two. And we just one shot it. So another Calyrex sweep. We play stupidly, but uh, we still win. So very good. Rayquaza, not very good. Um, Calyrex, very good. Glad we could hit that win. And let's get one more battle in there. We're at least redeeming this team a little bit. Um, our opponents do play kind of bad. The battles, hopefully, uh, you uh, like the team. And let me know what you think. We kind of struggled with it at first, and it was a little tough to uh, kind of get a feel for it. But once we got going, um, Skarmory and Lantern are good uh, bulky guys. And Lantern clearly checks Kyogre, as you saw. Um, and we do sneak out a win there in the end. Good switch-ins, good, good stuff like that. Um, we could have swapped in the Lantern on that Thunder play. I really thought about it, should have, but oh well. Um, you live and you learn. 
would have been nice to have Skyrim still, but that's the way it goes. Um, guys, we hit 500 subs. I'm um, going to do a uh, quad battle at some point with uh, my good friend Champ, who's been coming in on the stream. If you guys uh, want to catch me live, it's usually at night from 8, 9, 10-ish. Sometime we'll start in there. We're working on the Nuzlocke, um, so definitely join me for that. Uh, I will leave a Twitch link in the description below. I also got Twitter, so I will leave a Twitter in there as well. I don't check that as often as I probably should, but uh, yeah, we got that as well. Let me know what you guys think about this battle. Let me know what you think about the channel. Do you like the direction we're going with? What else do you want to see? Um, and we'll go from there. We'd love to hear back from you guys. So, other